I want to share with you a little trick that I do with the Project Logical Editor. It keeps my sessions manageable and the memory usage under control. Let's have a look. So I work with a template that has hundreds of tracks in it but I keep them in a disabled state so they don't slow down my load times and chew up memory, chew up processing. But as I go further along in a project and I'm doing, you know, tons of revisions, I end up deleting parts and stuff. And so I end up with a bunch of instrument tracks I'm not using. And if you use hide empty tracks like I do, I don't even know that those tracks are still there chewing up processing and chewing up memory. So I wrote a script in Project Logical Editor that goes through, finds all my instrument tracks that don't have any MIDI, disables them and hides them again. It's a simple little script, but it's actually saved me a ton of time and it makes my sessions faster to load and easier to work on. So this is really straightforward. Go to Project Logical Editor, Setup. We're going to Insert and we want Container Type equal Track. This is going to find tracks. Now we need to find tracks of a certain type. So we go to Property, Is Set, Is Empty. We're going to find empty tracks, but we want empty tra tracks that are enabled. Property is set, excuse me, is not set, is disabled. You have to do this backwards because there is no selection for is enabled. So you say it's not disabled. Notice they're all set to and over here. We want to select these tracks. You're going to change this down here to select. And then we want to add in post process. Disable. Boom. That will grab every empty track that's enabled and disable it. Except there's one thing to keep in mind. If you have tracks hidden, those tracks will not be able to be selected. So before you run this, you have to do a pre-process command, which is show all. We want channel and track visibility, show all channels and tracks. So what this does is shows all the tracks, selects the ones that are empty and enabled, and then disables them. Now, I add one more step, and this is a custom one here, hide disabled tracks. This one I had to make from scratch, right? So what's cool is you can call your own other scripts that you've made. So have a look at this one here, right? Now we'll go to hide disabled tracks. I'll just show you how that's put together. This script, Container type is track and property is disabled, right? It goes for anything that's disabled and it hides them. Very straightforward. So those two commands together will disable everything and, and hide everything that you don't want. So let's look at my actual session here for a second. Um, if I hit all, now I'm just hitting some commands here on my iPad. These are, these are shortcuts to show all tracks. You can see I have all these disabled tracks, right? But then my enabled tracks are just a couple of them, right? So if I have, let's say, a slew of tracks that are enabled, okay, but there's nothing on them, and I run that script, I'll show you Project Logical Editor, Setup, I can just select uh, my user presets and disable enabled empty tracks, and then just run it. And if you watch in the background, it hides. You can't see it, but <laughs> it disabled all those other tracks and leaves me with just the tracks that I'm actually working on. So very clean looking and it makes it so you're not scrolling forever. All right. I hope this tip has been helpful. If you haven't gotten into Project Logical Editor yet, please do. It is so powerful. You can do virtually anything with it. There are so many ways you can customize Cubase to do just what you need. Like and subscribe and I'll do some more on the next one. Thanks.